okay, I'm happy with this color correction that I have done. Um, this is just a LUT that I put together for the Sony ZV-E10 Mark II. This is an HLG3 LUT instead of shooting an S-Log. That's neither here nor there. I kind of wanted to just talk to you guys uh, quickly about um, mental health and a mental health checkup. Um, if you guys know and been around the channel, I do suffer from a, a plethora of mental illnesses from bipolar type 2 to PTSD, which is personal traumatic stress disorder from what I uh, experienced in my military service, not post traumatic stress disorder, but they're very similar. Um, it's just my triggers are a little bit, I would say, different and they vary. It's like a longer list. But um, I also, you know, suffer from sleep apnea. I sleep with a sleep pap machine. Um, I have episodes of sleep paralysis every now and then, even though I haven't had one in a long time. Um, and I have a one year old at home who, you know, has his own issues and stuff like that, that we've been slowly trying to work through. And my wife has been dealing with some stuff. So it's been it's been tough. You know what I'm saying? Um, as far as IRL and everything like that, been been trying to push through and stuff. I've talked about it in several videos before with this year being crazy with a whole bunch of tornadoes, the weather. Now we're going and experiencing a massive like heat wave and like humidity and, you know, 90 plus weather all the time. And it's just it's been kind of crazy and busy. But, you know, the upside to it is I've mentioned before in a previous video, we hit YouTube partner. You know what I'm saying? And I think right now we're over 1400 subscribers and uh, I've worked with so many brands and even some of late that I never thought that I would have been able and have the chance to work with um, from the likes of Comica, Godox. And it's kind of getting to the point to where um, I've been recommended by several people within my community and some people that I know personally as other uh, content creators and stuff to just to start charging. You know what i'm saying for the work and the effort and just everything and it's like now that i've become youtube partner i think that i'm going to push that a little bit more as far as if a company wants to send me out a product they want me to do all these things with me having mental issues me my time being precious yes my videos are not all flashy like edited and stuff like that i'm not you know doing crazy b-roll transitions and all that stuff even though i have multiple cameras and everything it's just that i've always wanted to be that kind of laid back down to earth like no no frills and stuff like that maybe every now and then add some cool b-roll and stuff like that so i've done that with some of my older videos but it's like you as the as the consumer who's looking up at these products or whatever potentially to buy you don't care about all that stuff you know what i'm saying it might look cool in in the moment and stuff like that and it might garner more people to watch past like 30 seconds or something but if you as a consumer who's potentially trying to buy stuff you're doing research you're watching multiple videos you don't have time for all that frilly stuff but what i've noticed is, is companies prefer that type of thing and that's the kind of content they want to see from the creators that they're sending out stuff but it's just like what, what's the point at the end of the day because me as a consumer when i look up for something i don't care about all that stuff you know what i'm saying i'm usually fast forwarding through that stuff and that's why I approach the content the way I approach it. And it's just like mentally, it's like I can't, you know, afford to do that kind of stuff. And it's like even with the hours that I'm putting in, testing the product, setting it up, depending on what it is and all that stuff and having to go through the hassle of, you know, if I have to email a company because something's going on with it or whatever, or figuring out software, doing all this stuff. Like uh, my friend in the community said, he's like, you. you it's just too much. You have to get paid for the work that you're doing and everything. And it's like, yeah, that's that's where I'm at mentally. It's like so the videos on the channel for product reviews and stuff might, you know, go down as far as the number that I used to put out, because like I said, I've tried to put out a video every single Monday. But at this point, it's like, what's the point? Because companies are not going to, you know, possibly pay me because of what their expectations is versus what, you know, what is given i would say as far as from my channel and like i said i'm not the a specialist or something you know what i'm saying i don't have all the gadgets to test like voltages and frequency ranges and eq and microphones and frequency responses and all, like i'm not all that in depth you wanted that type of thing you can go find channels out there that will break it down on like a mathematical level whatever the product is but for me it's like what you see is what you get and what I what I experience is what I give you. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I like to do on the channel. 
like I said, you can take it or leave it. Some people like it. Some people don't. Some people hate the way I do reviews. I've gotten, you know, comments like that before. So it doesn't really matter to me because again, it, the video was obviously not done for that person. Then if they have that much of a problem with it, and don't get me wrong. I do enjoy doing these types of videos. Even the last like three days, I recorded like three or four different videos. Each of them were like 30 minutes each. And I scrapped like all of them but one, but I'm still debating if I should put it out. And it's about the Sony ZV-E10 Mark II versus the Alpha 6700. And again, that video is like 30 minutes long. And I don't know if people would listen to that stuff or want to watch that stuff because it's more of a discussion video. It's more of a, you put your headphones on and you listen to. It's like, I'm doing somewhat good mental wise, but I got this, I got this fog in the back of my head that's like, yo, you're not gonna be able to produce as many product reviews and videos that you want to do because your audience retention and engagement on some videos wherever is not as high. So companies are not gonna be wanting to pay you. All right, so future editing the squid here, I kinda wanna elaborate on this part a little bit. I understand that me as a small time content creator, even though I hit youtube partner and everything my ratio as far as engagement with likes to dislikes to you know comments to views and stuff like that it varies on this channel where some videos you know might get below 100 views some of them might only stay in the hundreds of views and then some of them will take off and get over a thousand views or more you know what i'm saying so a company when they look at my channel they're like you know, he's kind of like all over the place, but he, I like the style of video he does, or, you know, at least he's doing product reviews. He streams, he does all this stuff. He's covering all this stuff and our product aligns with the type of content creation he does and what he presents to his audience. So we're still going to work with him. The problem with this mentality is that companies are not willing to invest, meaning they're not willing to pay me as a content creator for a review. And the problem I have with this, and I've talked about it before, and I've had people comment saying that a company is not willing to you know, lose out on that investment because of what I just previously said. But the problem with that logic is that the companies are reaching out to me, meaning that they're already in some facet, some way, shape or form, willing to let me do a review, regardless if it's going to be good, bad, regardless of how I do my reviews, whatever it may be, they're willing to still at least have me review their product. So if they're that willing to do that in the first place, why can't they pay me for my work? Why can't they pay me for my time? Because essentially what a product reviewer is, is free advertising and marketing for whatever product it is, especially if it's actually a good product and the person recommends it and gives it a glowing review if they're being honest. And it's like, yes, I'm not, like I mentioned before, a person who's making a highlight reel of the product, you know what I'm saying? Like you would see in a commercial, all these fancy stuff or whatever, but I'm still allocating my time and resources and equipment that I purchased with my own money to make a video for a product for nine times out of 10, a company who doesn't even have their own like trailer for a product or doesn't even have their own pictures for a product to use on social media or even the Amazon listing or whatever, because they do that weird Photoshop thing or whatever that looks terrible and everything like that. So if I'm doing more of the work for the company and I'm not even getting paid by them, why am I wasting my time? And that's when I came to the realization of what I said before, when uh, Dark and Osiris, he's also a fantastic content creator. I'll leave his channel down in the description. But when he reached out and told me that stuff in the comment section of one of my previous videos, I was like, yeah, you know what? You're right. What's the point of me doing all this stuff forever if I'm not getting paid for it? You know what I'm saying? I just picked up the Sony ZV-E10 Mark II. I'm trying to save up, you know, to get a uh, actual van or wherever so me and my family can, you know, drive around and have a more comfortable and reliable and safe car than sticking in my um, sedan or wherever, which has been having a lot of problems and issues. And I'm like, I'm trying to do all this stuff and, you know, get equipment and do products and stuff like that and purchase my own money. And it's kind of tight right now and stuff like that. But you want me to waste my valuable time and resources on covering a product that is I don't know if it's going to be good or not or anything like that or even worth my time doing a video on and you can't even pay me and it's not like I'm asking for a hundred thousand dollars or twenty thousand dollars or anything like that per video or anything it's just pay me for the time yes if that means that I'm not going to have that many product reviews to do because I'm not doing the old way I used to do them, then yes, that lacks content on the channel, but at the same time, less frustration for me and keeping me mentally safe. And that's what it's about. Over time, it's just like,
you just kind of it just becomes synonymous with who you are you know what i'm saying it doesn't make you who you are as far as your mental is issues go but it's just like you, you know what i'm saying like it's hard to explain it's just like this is kind of me you know what i mean and it's just kind of became a routine when i do my videos and the way i do them i don't want people who just randomly stumble on the channel think like dude why is this guy so you know why is he venting so much why is he so aggressive why is you know what i'm saying and then you watch another video of mine and i just seem so chipper and so upbeat and stuff like that and then some of them i just seem monotone or very aggravated you know what i'm saying and it's just like there's nothing that i can really do about it because it's my mental and that's just me you know what i'm saying like hopefully i'm making that clear i don't know how to really talk about it without like you know getting flagged on youtube because i'm talking about something so serious as far as like mental health and you know what comes with the thought processes and stuff like that because i still do with thoughts you know see it's like i can't even cover it because like i want to talk about it but i can't you know what i'm saying so it's just it, it happens you know what i'm saying it's just something that i've been dealing with since 2010 you know what i mean um and it's like it took me all the way to 2022 in order to get my 100 percent from the military and dealing with it for this long it's just like you know what i'm saying it's like waking up and have your morning coffee you know what i mean it's like it's 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 there you know what i mean and with trying to be a content creator nowadays and trying to you know do the at least the genre that i'm doing of content creation you realize what everybody else is doing and what becomes expected of a content creator especially one that works with brands and does like camera work and all that stuff and like i said when i see the f the fancy stuff or whatever i'm like yeah that's cool that would be cool to do but then you start thinking about how much work you have to do all that stuff for and a company is not even willing to really pay a content creator i, I don't know it's just it's like a weird it's like a weird thing and i know i'm talking about my problems my problems my problems and some people might not understand it or whatever you know they don't have no empathy or sympathy for me and, and it's fine um but like i said it's just yeah that's pretty much where i'm at you know what i'm saying mentally i kind of did want to do a mental checkup and i from time to time i'll do updates on the channel and stuff like that but i haven't really done one about mental issues i would say at least over a year like just specifically talking about my mental issues and how it is being a content creator with mental issues and and everything like that and i know we've obviously gained a lot of more people here on the channel that watch my videos um and I know some people are probably going to unsubscribe because I talked about mental issues. It, it is what it is. I, there's been several times where people tell me like mental issues are not real and stuff like that. Um, you don't have anything wrong with you, et cetera. And it's like, tell that to me when I was locked up in a, in a psych ward. You know what I mean? Like tell that to me when I was down in range or wherever deployed and I got woken up after not only having like four hours of sleep within a 72 hour period to a rocket landing relatively close enough to, you know, shake the little wooden bee hut that I was in while deployed. You know what I mean? Like tell, tell that to the, you know, multiple people that I've served with who have been in firefights and stuff like that. And I've literally seen jump and like try to go underneath their car just because a car drove by. And for some reason, like they made a weird noise or something like that. Like, and you're just talking to this person normally. And then you see that happen in front of you. You know what I'm saying? Like people are not making this stuff up. You know what I'm saying? When, when they have mental issues and everything. And it's like, when when you start having conversation with those people and then you tell them you know your story for, and they compare it to their stories and they're like well you know you weren't never in like direct you know combat or anything like that and it's like yeah but uh indirect rpg you know what i'm saying like seeing bodies and stuff it, it like i just <laughs> you, you know what i'm saying and then like i said staying up for like 72 hours with no sleep 
already being on 16 plus hour days or wherever for being there for like 16, not 16, but uh, like six months. And then having President Barack Obama um, come down and do like a little bit of a, a live stream over back to the States and you being a part of a six man team or wherever that set up the satellite system for him to transmit that speech back in 2010, uh, that was me and five other people. You know what I'm saying? And I was only a specialist at the time. And like I said, that was like six months into our deployment and everything like that. And then like 72 hours trying to set this machine because, you know, the civilians that were going to teach us how to set it up weren't coming in until two weeks later. But, you know, our Sergeant Major wanted to be high speed and get that stuff up. You know what I'm saying? And use this new technology for the president. Like, what, what are you thinking? Use what we already have like that we have established and that we're comfortable with why would you try to do this brand new thing like how does that even make any sense but you know you as a specialist you can't say anything and the best you got on your side is a staff sergeant you know what i mean so it's like what do you do and like i said it's a command sergeant major so and there's only really a, only a few people hired to him because you know we're working with the general you know of of the post so it's like <laughs> yeah what what do you do you know what i mean and not only that, I'm working with, like I said, high individuals. I've set up, you know, general stuff. They would send me by myself, a, a spe specialist, into like general like quarters and like command sergeant majors and like different stuff or wherever. And I'm setting up their computers and doing all this stuff or wherever for their setups and everything. And it's just like, bro, I don't want to, I don't want to be here like by myself. You know what I'm saying? So it's like doing all that stuff and only having 72 hours of sleep and then you come in after that stuff happens or whatever with the you know the rocket rpg or whatever and then like you're five minutes late to pt the following morning and then they're like then you have your staff sergeant pull you aside and be like why were you five minutes late to pt and i'm like you knew i was on this mission you know and you knew all this stuff was happening like why do you have a problem you know you know what i'm saying like i understand our location and i understand you know being like I, I get all that stuff but realistically five minutes bro after all the the bs i've been doing and going through in the past like 72 hours alone knowing that they already knew i was, I was like come on bro and that's like everything just spiraled out of hand from there you know what i'm saying and i feel like i've been constantly on a downward spiral i would say since then you know what i mean and looking back at it you know what i'm saying i was thinking about all this stuff this morning looking back at it and how far i've come as far as doing youtube and you know having a family now and, and being married and stuff like that and it's crazy because i never back then i never would have thought that i would have been in a safe place you know what i'm saying mentally as far as being to able to self isolate and being able to take care of myself the way i need to take care of myself i never thought at that moment back then that i would ever have the peace you know what i'm saying and that's what i've been trying to maintain all this time and it feels like i'm getting that headway you know to get into the piece but now the type of content that i'm providing or whatever through the product reviews and stuff and having to work with that work with companies and doing stuff i'm realizing that a lot of the a lot of the situations that i find myself in is jeopardizing that mental peace and it's like that's why when um i put his name on screen i forget his, i'm drawing a blank right now i'm a brain fart but i put his name on screen he really helped me out by saying those kind words about get paid for your time you know what i'm saying don't don't be doing all this stuff or whatever and dealing with these companies do all this stuff or whatever i don't know how to express i don't know if he's gonna watch this video but i don't know how to express my thanks to him because i needed that you know what i'm saying I, I really did. And I just want to say thank you, man. I, I really needed that because even if my videos have that lackluster quality to them, like I said, I'm not doing these crazy edits. And stuff. That's why I don't do shorts, man. Cause it's like, you do all that work, like all that fancy montage B-roll, like flipping and doing all this stuff, unboxings and everything. And then your video gets like a thousand views. And it's like, bro, you spent like three or four days trying to film that stuff. You know what I'm saying? You sat there and color graded every single frame and you did all this stuff or whatever. And it's like, 
you know what I'm saying? So you go back to the drawing board and you just keep doing it because you're looking for that instant grat gratification. It's like, bro, I just want to... I just want to have a chill video you know what i'm saying i want to be able to do videos like this i miss kind of doing the vlogs that i used to do even though they're nowhere near the best videos that i've ever put out and stuff like that but i just want to get on camera record you know what i'm saying maybe switch it up every now and then maybe not run into obs or whatever but like sit down and record do stuff or wherever and it's like i want to be able just just to do that you know what i'm saying and have people want to watch it you know what I'm saying? And then when I do product reviews, everybody else can watch the product reviews. You, you see what I'm saying? And it's like, know your worth as a content creator and keep your mental, like, keep your, keep your mental peace. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's kind of what I've also learned through my journey of, of being a content creator. I don't care that I don't have like a million subs, a hundred thousand subs or whatever. I'm happy for every single person, you know what I'm saying, that wants to subscribe. But what I'm more so happy is that every person that watches the video, even if I upload a video and it only has one view, that doesn't bother me because that one person or wherever, whether how long they watch the video, they watch the video. They decided to watch the video. That makes me happy, at least as a content creator. I don't know about you guys. With that being said, I'll get out your hair. Now I'm just kind of rambling. That's the bipolar type two. Uh, <laughs> I'll catch you like eyes later. Take care. Have a squid test today. God bless you and yours. Induces everybody. Much love.